Ola Badmos TV. Entertainment without bow. Comedy show currently happening here somewhere in the heart of Lagos, and this is Enyo Labad Most TV. And my name is Visola Day, but you can call me Lady B. Tonight is going to be fun, tonight we are going to party hard. But don't worry if you're not here, trust Enyo Labad Most on TV to keep you updated. We are here to bring you all the juicy juices currently happening here. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and make sure you keep watching because I'm here to serve you your royal majesty. So make sure you do what keep watching. Evangelist and Black Amore. How are you guys feeling? Yeah, we're cool. We're fine. So wait, are you guys a skit maker, a musician, or a comedian? Which one exactly? We are skit maker, we are comedian, we are musician, we are dancer, we are MC, we everything entertainment. Yeah, we do bobo nishi. So which one is the hardest? Which one is the hardest? As it is, uh, no one is hard because it's our profession. But the one I would say is a little bit challenging is um, the music part. The music part. Okay, but now you are fully into music too as well. Okay, so what do you have to say to your fans? Yeah, we appreciate them. We say thank you to them. Keep supporting us. We won't disappoint you. Yeah, thank you.
Wait, we have the energy. Hi, man. How are you doing, Sam I appreciate it. I'm fine. How are you doing? Wait, well, how do you always do those things? You just bring that energy. No, I don't. Know. I, don't know. <laughs> I just stood. I'm like, oh. it's called natural, you know. It's part of being built battery. Build battery. Yeah. Where I go, where I go. So let me ask you this now. You're a Nigerian artist that sing in your local dialect. How do you feel when people say some of you that sing in your local language are street artists? How do you feel about that? Do you think it's true? Yeah, but, but, but we are street artists. Everybody is street artists. Most of all these inspirations, even the artists or the serious artists, you don't come from the street. Oh, you are a street artist. You are set a street artist. I'm um, with street artists, whiskey the street artists, the video is street artists, Bonaboy is street artists. It's just the way they deliver their sound that is different. But we all are street artists. Okay, my last question for you. What do you think is the main cause of beef in the industry? Alien artists fighting, upcoming. What do you think is the main cause of the beef in the industry? There's no love in the industry because of there's no love among everybody. This will be this one because it, it will be it will feel inferior. I don't know how to put that word, but there's no love because of that love. Thing, love then it's affecting us. It's really affecting because there's no love in the industry. People don't really like themselves the way you think they they will be together saying something and they want to make each other the something or nothing else. So I mean, there's one artist you don't like. There's one artist you said you don't like. That's me. it. I like everybody. Ah. Close to some than some. Alright, okay, I guess. Yeah, first time for your fans here, right? Like, start, first time.
that the AK Jebu, Omo Yebu, Bo Chema Jere, don't touch that da in your lap, bad mouth TV. Oh yeah, Bo Chema Jere, Omo Yebu, what's here? You what here? What's up, Lagos? I am here at Billy Music and Comedy Concert here somewhere in at Lagos. And guess what's happening? In your lap, bad mouth TV, we brought box for me. Yeah. Yes, we're here to ask your favorite question. Let's just see how smart they are. But there is money, money, money that's in their head. So I'll be talking to your favorite artist and comedian. Let me hear what they have to say if they're gonna get my question right. So make sure you stick around. Keep watching any other bad person TV. Don't be me, my name is Billy Amin. I'm a Muslim. That's right. People just call me Billy, but don't be me. How do you feel tonight seeing all these people here just come out? I can say it's a sold out concert. How do you feel? Uh, I thank God and I thanks I give thanks to my team and friends and family that supported me. It's been a great journey so far, but we thank God we are here. You're a show promoter and also an um and um Organizer. Which one do you think is more harder, being, being promoting or being organizing events? Which one is more harder? Um, I think organizing events is more harder than being promoting because to make this work like this perfectly fine like this is not an easy task. With promotion, you can just post something, help someone to post, help someone to busy. But this one, you need proper planning, financial aspect, you need a team. But we thank God everything is on point tonight so far. Now, how do you gather your artists? Any artists that sometimes they are rude, you know, man, I'm not coming, I'm coming. Is, is that the harder part, gathering the artists together? Um, it's not really that easy as well to get all these artists. You know, most especially when they get one or two hit songs there or they are blown. It's not easy to get them together. Even to post your event, there are some of them that I'm still fighting up to another. Uh, how can, why can't you post my event for the past two or three days now before even you're telling me a day before or on the day? But sometimes like that, I feel so crazy. Like, what's wrong with this guy, bro? All right, my last question for you, before I let you go, please. Tell me, you're a show promoter and artist organizer. What do you think is the major cause of beef in the industry? Sometimes among A-list artists upcoming, what do you think is the major cause of beef in the industry? Um, anyway, we are enjoying the movie when there is beef. You know, it's entertainment, so when such beef happens, we love it. But at the same time, I think the main reason why all these things are happening is some artists don't know their level. Some, they are like this, but they will be categorizing themselves like this. I think that's one of the major reasons. If everybody knows his or her place, there won't be any issue so far. All right, thank you for talking to me. Thank you very much, Anila Badmas TV. I really appreciate you guys for coming. Shout out to us, thank you. I was expecting, I was expecting your consistency, you know, is fantastic, you know. I respect you also. Like, you know now, I'm your loyalist. God bless you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in case you don't know, one of the best Nigerian hype men, you know, me, you all know him very well. There is no more piece of introduction of him. Otuni Kishai Mokoloko. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Advantage Legs. Advantage Legs. <laughs> an artist here with me who just finished performing. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. How about you? I'm good. How was it on stage? Oh my God. It was actually very beautiful. Since the pandemic, I'm not sure I've seen something like this in a very long time. <laughs> so apparently, I feel so excited right now. At least the world is like coming back to normal. So you enjoyed your performance, right? You enjoyed yourself? Yeah, yeah I enjoyed doing this because I missed it. I'm not going to lie. Actually. So do you know Billy in person? Billy Q is a great guy. We used to live it together in we used to live together in Dubai, in Istanbul. He's a very great guy. Very, 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 very great person. I don't want to even go into details right now. Okay. Before I let you go, you're an artist. Tell me, what do you think is the major beef in the industry? Sometimes between upcoming artists, alias artists, what do you think is the major beef in the industry? Oh well, as an artist, just discover your strength. Discover your target audience. Everybody's a star. Trust me. Is anybody you are beefing in the industry? 
I'm what? Is there anybody you are beefing in the industry? Um, uh, the truth, though. I like fish. I don't. I don't eat beef, anyways. Ah, I like that. I like that. Before I let you go, my last question. This is a redo. Don't fall my hand, though. I said you are looking too good to fall my hand. I'll be fall my hand. I'll just take one of this thing and go home. <laughs> Alright, tell me what's in front of you, but can't be seen. What is in front of me? But can't be seen. You mean in front of me, like Bola or what? I don't understand. What's in front of you, but can't be seen? Um, the love of Christ. Ah, oh no, don't. It's busy. It's busy. It's all about money and how you blow. What's in front of you? It's future. The future is in front of you, but it can't be seen. Oh, no, no. <laughs> all right. Still so, yeah, here at the backstage of Billy Q Comedy and Concert. I have another here. Good looking young man with me. How you doing? Yes, sir. You're ready now to boil like Zion, aka Africa. I got it tonight. Oh, what's up with this dread? Why are you artists always carrying dreads? What's up? What's up with this? You know, it's just like, it's just like um, a Mac. You understand? Know, like a landmark. Like it shows that, yeah, you're an artist. You know? So you're performing tonight? Yeah, sure, I'm performing tonight. What should we expect from you? Expect mass stunts tonight, killing performance tonight, you know? Okay, I'll be here waiting for you. If you do bad, I'll flog you. <laughs> I'll be here waiting for you. No problem, I got you. Tell me, how does it feel to manage an artist? No, it's not easy, but if you have a good artist with a good mind, you can manage him. It's kind of expensive, but it's worth it at the end, I think. How many artists have you managed so far? Okay, I'm just upcoming. upcoming have man. you ever met anyone who is very rude, like you don't like? Of course. Artist, right? X Smile. Even Q Dots. So how does it feel when you meet them? How does it make you feel? I feel very happy. Okay, all right. So what are you expecting tonight? Ooh. To have fun, to enjoy myself. Yeah. But your artists will pass. We are artists in performing. <laughs> of course. Oh, okay. All right. Make sure you have fun. Uh, thank you so much. And I'm here with another artist. How are you doing? I'm good. Look good, 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 good. Ah uh ah. -uh, white black. <laughs> no, no. I'm, thank you. That's a compliment. But we are here for you. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you an artist? Of course. Are you an artist? I go by the name Maisie Lion, they already know. I don't need to introduce myself no more. Every day we gotta <laughs> Yeah, I go by the name M to the A to the Y Z double E, Maisie Lion, you already know. Swap. So you're performing tonight, or you're just here to be like, ah ah. What should we expect from me tonight? I expect nothing but the fire, man. Every time you climb on that stage, what goes to your mind? What, what, what's that thing that comes to your mind when you climb on that stage? You know, I came from where nobody accepts you, you understand? So whenever I climb on the stage, first thing that came to my mind is I see myself first. Then when I see people accepting me, I always feel like, yeah, this is lying. That's why they call me Miss Lion. Yeah. That's where that's coming from. Before I let you go, let me ask you this. There's always beef in the industry. There's always beef, always beef between upcoming artists, A-list artists. What do you think is the major cause of beef in the industry? Because they feel like, to me, I feel maybe greediness or something. Because to me, I feel my money will be mine. Yours will be yours. Where I'm meant to be, I will therefore be there. So you don't need to hate on me because I'm doing good. I don't need to hate on you because you're doing good. Just, it's, it's a free world. Do your thing. I'm going to do my thing as well. So I don't know why, you know, some people are just born like that. Is there any artist you are beefing? Say the truth now. Let us know. You know any family will never beef any artist because I love everybody. You overblow now. Overblow now. You start seeing you. Start subbing them on Instagram. Guys, they're all artists. 
and they are here because of me. You get me? My last question before I let you go. Is there any artist you look up to? Is there any artist you would like to work with? Whiskey. Shea, ah, ah, Whiskey, that's you, Shea. All right, thank you for talking to me. Nah, you're welcome. What's up, guys? I had so much fun talking to your favorite ride. I hope you had so much fun watching, too. This is the part I have to exist the camera and go relax and maybe have some little fun. But do not forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. You all to stay tuned and stay subscribed to Enola Badness on TV. You know we love to keep you entertained. And you can all follow us on our Instagram page at Enola Badness TV. And if you like, you can follow me on Instagram too at Bisola the Gold. To like home your way next time, stay blessed, stay happy. Bye bye. Entertainment.